I wonder if Narcissa woke up yet. And if she did, I wonder what the first thing she saw was. Whatever it is, she must be completely in love with it now. Here comes my messenger. What's going on, you crazy wizard? What confusion have you made in this forbidden forest? Mistress Narcissa is in love with the monster. I took the opportunity to stick the donkey's head on the dumbest fool I could find. I left him there transformed. At that exact moment, Narcissa woke up and immediately fell in love with him and asked. This is going even better than I planned. But have you given the love potion to that idiot as you were told? Yes, I told him. So that's taken care of too. And Cho is sleeping near him. When he woke up, he was not see him. Why are you so unpleasant to someone who loves you? Save that kind of language for your worst enemy. I'm only scolding you now. If you killed Harry while he was sleeping, then you're already doomed. You might as well kill me too. The only possibility is that you murdered him. A murderer should look like you, you do. So pale and ginger-like. That's how someone who's been murdered should look, and that's how I look. You've pierced me with your hard words, and yet you, the murderer, look as bright and clear as a great hall. What does that have to do with Harry? Where is he? Oh, wrong will you find him for me? I'd rather feed his dead corpse to Fluffy. Get out, Death Eater. You've driven me to my wit's end. Just tell the truth for once. You're getting all worked up over a misunderstanding. I didn't kill Harry. He isn't even dead as far as I know. Then tell me he's alright. If I told you that, what would I get? The privilege to never see me again. And now I'm going to leave you loath company. You'll never see me again whether he's dead or alive. Bloody hell. I can't go over after her when she's in a fit like this, so I'll stay here for a while. Sadness gets the worst when you haven't any sleep. I'll try to sleep here. What have you done? You've made the mistake of giving the love potion to Harry, someone who is truly in love. Because of your mistake, someone's true love must have turned bad, instead of this man's false love being turned into a true love. In that case, it is fate. For every man who is faithful to his true love, a million end up running after a different lover. Go around the Forbidden Forest and make sure you find Hermione. She's lovesick and her face is pale from all the sighing she's been doing, because sighing is bad for the blood. Bring her here with some trick or illusion and I'll give him the potion. I'm going and going faster than their broomstick. Oh potion, make this wizard in love with Hermione. When he sees the girl he should love, make her seem as bright to him as the evening star. Young wizard, when you wake up, if she is nearby, beg her to cure your love sickness. Hermione is nearby, Professor. Harry, who I mistook for Ron, is there too, begging for her to love. Should we watch this ridiculous antics? Lord, these miscreants are acting like such fools. Move! Their noise will awaken Ron. Then the two of them will both pursue one girl. That'll be funny, funny enough, and preposterous situations are my favorite thing. Why do you think I'm making fun of you when I tell you I love you? People don't cry when they're mocking someone. Look, when I vow that I love you, I weep. And when someone weeps while he's making a promise, he's usually telling the truth. How can it seem like I'm mocking you when my tears prove that I am being frank? You get trickier and trickier. You've made the same promises to me and to Cho. They both can't be true. They must both be false. The promises you're making to me belong to Cho. Will you abandon her? If you weigh the promises you made to me against the promises you made to her, they'd both come out the same. They'd both weigh nothing. They're lies. I wasn't thinking clearly when I made those promises to her. Nor are you now, as you break your promises. Ron is enamored with her. He loves you not. Oh, Hermione, you are a goddess. What can I compare thee to? I, a crystal is as clear and beautiful as you. Your lips are like tempting cherries. Pure snow is black when compared to your delicate hand. Oh, let me kiss it. It would make me eternally happy. Oh, damn you. You do this in your own delight. Can't you just hate me as I know you do? Do you have to get together to humiliate me too? You're competing for Cho's love, and now you're competing to see which one of you can make fun of me the most. No respectable person would offend an innocent girl just to have some fun. Do 
not be so unkind, Ron. We both know that you love Cho, right here, right now. I swear, I am giving up all my claims on her and handing her to you. In exchange, I give up your claim to Hermione, for I love her and con will continue to do so till the day I die. Nobody's ever gone through so much trouble just to make fun of someone. Keep Cho, I don't love her. If I ever loved her, all that love is gone. I love Hermione now. Hermione, it's not true. Do not mock a love you yourself cannot understand. You will pay the price. Look, here comes your Cho. It is impossible to see in this dark haze, but I sure can hear well. I couldn't see you, Harry, but I heard your voice, and that's how I found you. Why did you leave me so unkindly? Why stay when love tells you to go? But what love could make my dear Harry leave? Why are you looking for me? Didn't you figure out that I left you because I hate you? Do not be telling the truth. It cannot be. So Cho's in on this too. Now I see that all three of you have gotten together to play the sick game with me. Have you forgotten all the talks we've had together, the vows we've made to be like sisters, all the hours we sold friendship by joining with these men to insult me? All women would be angry with you for doing this, even though I'm the only one who's hurt by it. I'm downright surprised at what you're saying. I'm not insulting you. It sounds more like you're insulting me. Oh, come on, just confess. Didn't you send Harry as an insult to follow me around, praising my eyes and my face? Have you not made your other love, Ron, who kicked me out with his foot not long ago, call me a goddess? Why does he talk like that to a girl he can't stand? And why does Harry deny that he loved you when he loves you so deeply? I do not understand you, Hermione. All right, continue your sick little game. Mock me when I turn my back.